get to the point where you can't this view, this the front node doesn't have the value that you need to put in. We already checked the value, right? So we want to check the value to the other node. So, like I said, my assumption that I'm also going to be my depth, which I think this is the simplest code for iterating through the like this here in a way so that we can successfully remove those. So, we need to do so let's go with this one. It's going to be a few to go to the next level. And then the second one is the value of the pre site that you were looking at. Let's go to the next one. So the next thing that I do is I said, try to improve the first thing. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you what you're going to do by here, not here, to check your algorithm. Right? So let's create another node player called current, and it's going to be able to prove a test that. Right? So what that means is that we create the current. So we 
this, uh, uh, the the stack function is about uh, and to uh, uncomment the tests for uh, task two. So we start with that. So start correct. The stack function the first test case should be testing path two. This is testing, testing. Now, uh, these are the great functions. These are number functions of uh, LS or HTAC. The uh, stack functions. So for the new concept of the this will take a string as input and it refers to the value result. So if you return true, that's a value that you can tell the true, right? So the purpose of the math is to the balance, basically. Uh, if it returns true, the value is a value that you can so in our header file, you put your empty code type here. And this third function you're doing, So that's the thing that we don't comment when we work on task four and task five. Don't forget to do that. Look to those tasks. Um, also, as usual, don't forget to put in your function documentation. We have to make something that this is just, just kind of here's something different, but you know, there's a lot. Right. Reason that we have this is a, a useful exercise. It's just so clear about the input part of the function, what the function is returning, and what is the value. So, this kind of helps me think about it. Just for example, in the previous assignment eight, we're getting the function signature incorrect. So, um, I don't know. Um, that they get signed out and we want to turn like a C before we turn to the right. So it's not really understanding that get front is actually accessing the value, but what to do is it's a little tight there if you were turning. It's kind of a fundamental thing, right? So here, you know, this function that has this testing and expression. This is an expression of some parentheses. Uh, 
a string uh, existing.
but it's a kind of a function of transform brand of high and deep standards of the truth. So, and then uh, the title of this is um, So, basically, if I have a string of length of the line, the resulting string should be a plus two. So, string of length one is the result of string of two characters. So, string of length one is only high, and I'm just going to find it one, it's going to increase from one to two. The string of length one is the same, you start at two. The string went two, so it's not a one, two, three. Um, this kind of shows you the idea of the way if you have a mixture of eyes, like I D means that you start by increasing, so now I've got two characters, so the results be um, like a Value one, two, and three on the output. So first increase, then increase from one to three. So that's not increase two, because I need to increase the value. So if all we have is zero, you'll be able to get one, two, and three, and that result is three. So I need to increase the value, and that increase down to two to satisfy. Thank you. 
So the last two chapters, we want to actually give them something to storage in the standard value. So we're going to pass it in a stack. Standard. 
So let's just go by email if you have them. And I will try to through the 